Well, it was a good weekend for us. Uh, it's nice to be home in McHale, and I thought our, our team really played uh, with tremendous confidence. Um, whether you're a fan, you watch us on TV, or you know, you're a member of our actual group, our team, I think we feel really good about our unselfishness on offense. I think it shows what the ball moved easily. We had 24 assists against Washington, and we followed up tonight with 18 more. Um, took care of the ball, 12 turnovers. Some happened very late. And we have balance in our scoring, inside, outside, in transition, and it's great to see. I thought the story of this weekend was Parker. He played his best basketball of his career in back-to-back -back games, you know, 18 assists and three turnovers, it's phenomenal. And uh, his unselfishness and his vision and sharing the ball really became contagious this weekend. On top of that, he shot the ball in this game like he's capable, and uh, we believe in him. He believes in himself. It's great to see him have that confidence. I've watched Parker uh, shoot a lot of basketballs this offseason, and I've stayed steadfast in my support that he's a really good shooter and it's starting to show. He is. And even from the line tonight, four for four, he's settled in. And I'm just uh, really happy that he's playing with the confidence that he has because he's important to our team. And uh, he really stepped up in, in Alonzo's absence, one person more than any. I thought he, he really took his game to the next level. Uh, so now we go on the road, and uh, we have a few days in between and an opportunity for us to get better. And uh, Lord knows to you to win on the road and go to Stanford, to Cal, we're going to have to be really sharp. And uh, that's what we're hoping to, uh, to be when we show up. How has Parker's court vision developed? He's always had great court vision. You know, he's a smaller guy playing at a very high level of college basketball. There's an adjustment period. But I believe he's through that adjustment period. If you look at his career, he has one season under his belt where he was TJ's backup had a really good off season, and now he has that first semester behind him, now back in league play for the second time. And uh, I've noticed, even since we returned from Los Angeles, just almost a renewed sense about him, how he's practiced. He has a real purpose. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a big part uh, of our team because if you think about who we don't have, you know, our guards playing well is, is paramount for us. How much easier is life when your point guard does have an assisted turnover ratio like you had the last few games? Well, it's, it's really, really important. And add Kadeem on to that, too, because Kadeem plays several minutes each game at the, at the point guard, obviously. But, you know, he didn't have a big assist night, but he had zero turnovers. So they combined for nine, turn, nine assists and two turnovers. I don't know what they had against Washington, but I think it was good against Washington as well. So we're getting really good play. Even during the season, if you look at those two guys combined, assist to turnover, that, that hasn't been our problem. Our problem this year has been as much about defending as anything. And even tonight, you know, we weren't great defensively. We had our moments. But that's where we hope our growth can continue. Thank you. It almost feel you had such an identity defensively the last few years, and then now it's almost like – is it too early to say maybe you almost have more of an offensive identity, the way this team is sharing it, like you said? Mm -hmm. pretty well, we've improved a lot offensively, and we're playing really well. We're scoring a lot of points. And uh, that doesn't mean that we can't be good on defense, too. Uh, our upside, and, and it might be just simply this, whenever we're finally healthy, when, when one day this season we can have everybody line up in a game for this at the same time. We've not had one day, not one day of practice, not one game where we've had all of our scholarship available, players available. And we won't because Ray's never coming back this year. But we hope those other guys will. And uh, that would be a huge shot in the arm for everybody. How did that go? You were talking earlier in the year, he was talking about wanting you to take a lot more twos because you were so effective at that. And yet you're picking out threes and hitting them at a really high rate. What was that balance like for you? Right, yeah. I mean, I, I think he's just telling me when I'm open from three, shoot it. Um, but I, it, tell me to shoot it from two is it hasn't really stopped. You know, if, if I got it from two, um, I'm pretty efficient down there. So I'll do, I'll do what I got to do. Um, and if they collapse, I kick it out. But um, 
a lot of our bigs are doing a great job down low. So uh, on the perimeter as a three now, I'm trying to feed them as much as possible because they're either going to get fouled or they're going to get a bucket. Or if they get doubled like they did tonight, they'll kick it out and hit a guy like Parker who's going to knock it down. How was it coming home and to make things right again? Um, you know, I think we just had to regain focus is all. Um, you know, it's, it's always tough winning or losing back-to-back -back games. But um, I think for us, we really came back with a focused mindset and, and getting back to doing what we do and, um, and just playing hard. It's a couple of real nice games in a row, Parker, from you. Are you feeling pretty comfortable out there? And what's it feel like? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the guys, my teammates and the coaching staff have really just given me a lot of confidence. Um, they never count me out. And, you know, it just makes me feel good to, to come out every day and practice and in the games and, and try to play well. So. You know, I never doubt myself or count myself out, and my teammates and coaches give me a lot of confidence.